Hey guys, it's Eric. Today I want to go over three beginner setups for filming skateboarding. First, the iPhone. The cool thing about the iPhone is it shoots 240 frames or 240 pictures per second, which makes really cool slow motion. I recommend getting a handle like the Hotshot handle, which will run you about $30. You can also get a fisheye like the Death Lens or the Olo Clip. The Death Lens is 35 and the Olo Clip is about 80. While iPhones do shoot in HD, they don't have the best image quality, they have focus problems, and the white balance or color is a little tricky but they're a great place to get started. If you already have an iPhone, you can add a handle for long lens and a fisheye for only $65. Next is the GoPro. GoPros are great for filming skateboarding because they have a really wide fisheye. Your GoPro will connect to your Android or iPhone so you can download the footage as you go. While GoPros look great outdoors, they don't do as well indoors and in low lighting. The GoPro camera I recommend for getting started is the Hero 4 Silver because it has an LCD so you can watch your footage as you go and it only costs about $330. For filming skateboarding, I recommend some type of handle for stability such as the GoWorks Original Pro Handle or the micro jib, which will save your back from a lot of pain from bending over because you can get low angles with it attached to this. For a GoPro starter kit, you're looking at 330 for the camera and 60 for the handle. And finally, DSLR cameras are what I recommend if you're getting a little more serious about the quality of your image. I use a Canon 70D, which costs about $1,200 for the camera body only, but a Canon T5i will work just fine and costs about $400 to $550. When you buy a Canon camera, you can buy the camera body only, or in the box they have what are called kit lenses that come with the camera and they're starter lenses or less expensive lenses. I'll give you the rundown on a couple and tell you how to use them, but you're gonna have to buy your fisheye separate. One of the inexpensive lenses you can get is the Canon 50mm 1.8. You can't film skateboarding with it, but you can get that cool blurry or depth of field look and it only costs $100. Another kit lens that you can get that you can film skateboarding with is the 18 to 135 telephoto lens. You can use this to film long lens, just remember that you'll have to get a video tripod with a good long handle and these cost about $300. Now for the fisheye. Remember that the quality of your lens is mostly determined by the glass that it's made out of, so it's okay to get a used lens as long as it's not damaged. The less expensive option is the Vivitar 7mm 3.5. It only costs $300 but is a great starter lens. The lens that I recommend getting if you can afford it is the Canon 8 to 15. It'll run you about 1200 new or 900 to 1000 used. If you're on a budget and choosing between a more expensive camera or a more expensive lens, I would recommend getting a more expensive lens like the Canon 8 to 15 with a less expensive camera like the Canon T5i. The quality of your lens will make your video look a lot better. And last, let's talk about accessories. You're going to need something to stabilize your camera because it has a small body. I recommend the Easy Handle. You can get it at easyhandle.com and that's easy with a Z to hold your camera while you're filming. Because the microphones inside Canon cameras are essentially useless, you're going to need some type of external shotgun mic. I recommend the Rode Pro Video Shotgun Mic, which will cost you about $215. In total, the starter for an SLR camera kit will run you $400 for the Canon T5i, $300 for the 7mm Vivitar Fisheye, $230 for the Easy Handle for stability, and $215 for the microphone. That's 1145 total, which is not bad, considering most skateboard videos are made with the RED camera that'll run you about $30,000. You'll also need some accessories. You'll need memory cards, and you'll need batteries, which I highly recommend getting Canon batteries for a Canon camera, or else you won't be able to see your battery life indicator. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll get back to you. Or if you have any recommendations on what you would suggest using for a starter kit, leave that below also for other people. Thanks and happy filming.